Hey, what's up? I'm Beth and this is Star Makeup. Um, in today's video, we are going to try out the Glam Light Paint Palette Pro. Um, I also got the Concha highlighter and we are going to try that out too. Um, so if you were curious as to what this palette was like and if you would like to see how I got this eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've done quite a few like blue, purple, pink kind of looks. Um, so I want to do the greens in this palette. So I'm pretty much just going to use this one and this one. I think I pointed to the right ones, yeah. Viridian green and turquoise. And then I, ugh, I have to use this shade. I mean, oh my God, it's just so insanely pretty. And you could use that shade with any of the mattes in this and it would just look stunning. I mean, it is so cool because depending on how you look at it, it looks purple, it looks blue, it looks, pink it looks green like ugh. this reminds me so much of um cafe disco from the pure and raw beauty christy palette blows my mind because it looks so much like it okay so i'm going to start with my larousse lr110 shadow brush it's just like a nice packing brush and I'm going to pick up Viridian Green and I'm just going to start packing this in the outer corner. Make sure that I get into that crease there. If I keep my eye open when I try to go in there, I always end up with like a weird, like bald spot where my crease is. Um, I decided to use the Balm uh, Priming is Everything Primer today, and it is creasing on me pretty badly. So I don't know. I used to like this primer a lot, and I don't know how I feel about it now. I haven't used it like in a really long time. All right, so I think I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit, but I really wanna keep it primarily in this outer portion. And I really wanna keep this like a little bit more round. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with the LaRousse LR005 Tapered Blending, and I'm going to pick up just a little bit of that shade, just so that it'll blend a little better, and I really don't want to move this around too much, I just kind of want to diffuse the edges a little bit and I think I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit more and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of run this on the outer portion of my lower lash line too And I'm also going to kind of fade this in on my lid a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take the... Are they the same? That's really weird. These brushes have the same number and the same like name on them, but this one looks a lot bigger. 
That's really weird. Maybe it's because this one's new and I haven't washed it yet because I got this um, in like my last, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for December and I haven't used it so I haven't washed it yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to pick up turquoise and tap that off pretty good and then I'm just going to go around everything that we just did. Okay, so I need to see this up close. I'm really trying to like get myself to use a different mirror besides like a palette that I have to hold. <laughs> but I'm so used to like doing my makeup with the mirror like up close that it's just really weird. But I'm, I'm trying, I promise. <laughs> So this really blended out really nicely. Um, I love the way the blend looks. I don't want to mess with that like at all. But I really do want the outer portion to be a little darker. So I'm going to go back in with that first brush and I picked up just a little bit more of that Viridian Green. And I'm just going to try to build it up in the outer corner a little bit more. I really kind of wish that this palette had a black in it. Um, I think the other one does, like the original paint palette that Glamlight did. Um, and I think that was really smart because, I mean, black and white are the two colors that an artist always have. Like, an artist always has black and white paint. You know, because you always use those shades to darken a color or lighten a color. So, I really kind of wish that there was at least a black matte in the palette. Oh man, I love this so much already. Ooh, it really could use a black though. Because <laughs> that would make it like super dramatic and I love that. But it's okay, we'll make it work. I did kind of wing it just a little bit when I just did that. I might, oh no, that had the darker green on it. I might be able to kind of blend it back to a circle. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, and then of course I do want to bring that depth down against my lash line. Um, I'm gonna use this brush. Um, this is from Glam Light. It actually came with this palette. Um, there's no like number or anything on it. Of course, it's supposed to look like a paintbrush. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna tap like the very tip of that brush into that Viridian Green so that I can be really precise with this. Okay, so I also want to go back in on the lid with the packing brush and that green, like the dark green. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of tap like 
halfway across the lid because I don't want it to be super dark but I also want that green to be there. All right, so I think I'm good with that. So I'm gonna go back with this Glam Light brush and I'm really debating on if I just want to tap the, the titanium white over top of the green or if I want to tap this over top of the green, which this is the cadmium yellow. And I don't know, I think this would look really cool, but I also think that that white on top would look really cool. So, uh, I think I am gonna go in with the yellow just because I really want the white to be like the inner corner blended onto the lid like that shadow needs to be the star of the show <laughs> that shadow was actually the reason that i ended up picking this palette up um because i wasn't i really wasn't planning on it um and then i watched annette's makeup corner do her video on it and when she was doing her swatches and I saw her swatch that shade I immediately went to the website and bought the palette because that that one shade just blew my mind I mean I really liked the way all of the other shad uh, shadows looked too but that one just got me so bad I had to buy the palette just because of that shade. <laughs> so this looks really freaking awesome. That was a great choice. So now I'm going to take, um, this is, oh, I forgot there's no anything on these brushes. Um, this is just like a flat eyeshadow brush from Poppy Cosmetics. I'm going to take that and I, wa I want to go like really slowly with this because I'm not sure like how crazy this shadow is gonna be if I go in with like a shitload of it at once. So... Oh, man. I mean, I barely even have any there, and it is just already so stunning. And that's another reason that I'm worried about going in with too much, and I'm worried about going in with the glitter glue, is because of it being so emollient, I'm really worried that it's gonna end up looking, like, thick and chunky on my lid and I don't want that like at all but from past experience with shades like that that's exactly what happens is they end up looking like real thick okay I was able to pick up a little bit more on my brush this time and that's exactly what is kind of happening is it kind of looks like really thick so I'm hoping that I can kind of maneuver it around and get it to like spread out because I don't have like too too much on there oh man and I mean like do you see how like it looks so much more green because it's next to greens but if i like did a a purple crease and then went in with this it would totally shine more purple it's just ugh, i love shades like this like cafe disco was my favorite out of all of the shades in that raw beauty christie palette it was so so pretty like everything that you put it on it just transformed into a completely different looking shimmer 
and I love shades like that. And I didn't even know when I saw Annette do her video, I didn't know that it was gonna be like that. Like, it just looked, um, green, kind of. It looked kind of like bluey green, um, in her swatch. And I just fell in love with that part of it. And then when I got it and swatched it myself and it like, oh, I saw how transformative it was. I was like, holy shit. All right. So, I mean, this is working out. It's blending out like pretty well. I'm having a little bit of difficulty trying to like bring it down around onto my lower lash line. And I do have a couple of areas where it is a little bit thicker than I would really like for it to be, but I, it is very easy to maneuver. Like you can manipulate it quite easily. Okay, so I think that's probably how I'm going to leave it. I don't want to go in with more because like I said, I don't want it to get like all gloopy and weird. I think I do need to put a little bit more of that cadmium yellow like in the middle of my lid there for one to get them to blend together a little more and for two just to get it to be a little bit more intense all right so i think that is going to be it I really, really like this. So, um, I am going to recreate this on the other eye, uh, debate over a waterline color for 20 minutes, <laughs> throw on some lashes and mascara and a lip product, and then um, I will be back and I also picked up the Concha highlighter when I got this. So we will give this a shot when I come back. Okay, so this is where we're at now. Of course, we're going to try out that Concha highlighter, so not quite the finished look. Um, I did the inner portion of my waterline with ColourPop Icebreaker, and then I did the outer part with ColourPop Catsuit. Um, that's what I ended up landing on because I couldn't choose one or the other, so I just did both. <laughs> um, I did the Glam Light Pizza Lashes again because I freaking love these. They are gorgeous. Um, I used the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2. And then I used the Glam Light Hot Chocolate, um... I guess this is a lip gloss. Yeah, I think so. Um, and of course I used L'Oreal Telescopic on my lower lashes. Okay, so let's try out this Concha highlighter. I think this is freaking stunning. I love it. Uh, I have not put it on my face yet. I have swatched it a few times though, and it is super pretty. So, I am going to take the ColourPop F33. This is from the Stone Cold brush roll. And I'm just going to pick some of this up. And I always tap my highlighter on first. Wow, did this brush even... 
doesn't look like this brush like picked the highlighter up. Okay, well, I mean, I can see that it's on the brush. No, I mean, I can see it starting there. This does feel like a really, like, I don't, I don't want to say wet, but I don't want to say emollient either. Um, it's like a really soft, kind of moist feeling highlighter. I, I don't know how else to describe it. So I'm wondering if I shouldn't use my uh, ColourPop F5 because this one is more dense. Um, so let me try to pick some of this up here it's like I don't know it's weird it it's doing like this whole hard pan situation I don't know if you can see that or not but that's weird and like I said it, it feels I, don't, I mean it feels like they're like they're uh, shimmer shadows it's like soft and I don't know. Let's see. Well, I mean, okay, I can see it a little bit better now. It's a beautiful color. Oh, oh, wow. I just now see in my uh, mirror that I use as like a monitor. Damn. Okay, that is not what I'm seeing in my mirror. <laughs> All right, wow. That's like, whoo, that is blinding. All right. Well, I mean, once I got it to pick up on the brush, it certainly is very pretty. I like it a lot. I just wish it was a little easier to apply. And I don't know. I mean, like, look at this. Almost the whole thing is hard pan. I mean, that's nuts. I've never had that happen to me with any other highlighter before. So, the Paint Pro palette. Freaking love it. Absolutely. These mattes blended so easily. The shimmers are just to die for. Let me show you a couple of the other ones that I didn't use. Uh, oh, I guess I can put the purple on there too. Like, look at these colors. These shimmers are just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. They go on super easy. Uh, they're so bright and just crazy. I I love Glam Light. I mean, this is the second palette that I've tried now. That Ice Cream Dream palette is definitely one of my favorites of 2020. Um, I'm sure that I'm going to love this one and go figure. The day after I ordered this um, is when the Pie Palette Foodie Box got announced. So, of course, I bought the Pie Palette too. <laughs> so, um, I will be trying that in the next couple of days here. Um, I got the cute little gingerbread lash, you know, the whole foodie box. I'm actually really excited to try this cookies and milk highlighter because um, I really thought it was going to be too dark, but then when I got it and I opened it, I think it's going to be really, really nice. So I'm super excited to try that. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, Please, if you enjoyed this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Um, if you do, please ring the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. Um, you can hop over to Instagram and follow me over there for a whole bunch of different content that I have planned. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.